Real talk. <laughs> Our chance to look at the movie sitting in the box office this weekend and the genetically enhanced Greg Russell is with us today. I assume that's in relation to a movie, right? Yes, Are you yes. just saying <laughs> that's yeah. cool too? No complaints. No, no, I've you know, hey, change, yes. but yeah. Hitman, that's Hit right. Man, Agent 47. Agent 47. He is this guy who is genetically enhanced to be this super spy. Kind of right. like Jason Bourne. Yes. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's this corporation uh -oh. that wants to capture him and basically dissect him <gasps> to make even bigger and better war people. So his deal is he now has to go out there and fight against them. He has to fight against all corporate America all corporate just America. for him. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And this is Rupert Friend, who yes. we've seen on Homeland. He's really good. Right. Yes, he is. On that. Is he good in this as yes, well? Yes, he is. And this one, well, actually one of the best comments I heard was from a lady who was leaving the theater, and she said, this was the best action I've seen in a long time. Really? Because they're flying around, jumping around. I mean, you know, it, it's it's the type of story where you already know there's going to be a lot of fights and, you know, different things like that. Mm -hmm. But people really enjoy the action good. that went along with this movie. So we will see what happens, you know, if he gets caught or if he doesn't get caught. But it's just fun to kind of see what happens. Or if he yeah. just goes on to Agent 48, the sequel. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. That's when they'll shoot here in Detroit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, next we're talking about uh, American Ultra, an action comedy starring Kristen Stewart and mm -hmm. Jesse Eisenberg. And I know you had a chance to talk to them um, ahead of the release. So let's take a look at part of that interview. Okay, it's this nice little love story, and you're here to help your boyfriend kind of break out of his shell. Mm -hmm. Basically, you have these you have these uh, two stoner kids who are very sweet and gentle uh, with with each other, and mm -hmm. just in general, like in regards mm -hmm. to life. And uh, therefore, he has like anxiety, and it's mm -hmm. you know something that she completely understands because she knows him, but she doesn't have that particular thing, and so she can kind of hold him up, and you know he gives her just as much in return, and then all of a sudden, like you know everything explodes and he needs to like be, you know, uh, please continue. Um, <laughs> I know it's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're just like, they're just trying to like live their lives. I'm trying to propose to her, mm -hmm. we're our only two, like she's yeah. my only friend, I'm her only friend, and then like the CIA comes to like basically wipe us out and kill us and we have to defend ourselves and we don't know how to do it. So it's like this very funny combination of like these mm -hmm. regular kids trying to defend themselves from these super trained soldiers. Right, and for your guy, I mean, it, it was just kind of one of those things where he doesn't know really what's going on in the beginning. Yeah. But all of a sudden, he's this kind of like super guy. Yeah. So the funny thing is, like, so he's been like uh, brainwashed and trained how to fight, but then he's been brainwashed to forget. So he actually has this incredible fighting skills, but doesn't doesn't realize it. Right. Until he's forced to actually defend himself. This was the one movie not filmed in Detroit, probably. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. It would have been perfect. I know. Maybe the second one. That'd be great. And that guy, I like. I like how he referenced. What did he say about, again about Detroit? He the said one movie? this is the one movie that wasn't filmed in Detroit. Oh. He's done about three movies here, either in Detroit or throughout Michigan. He loves Detroit. Wow. He loves doing movies. It's nice to hear. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. We know him from the Social Network. Mm -hmm. uh, is is this like one of the? I know Agent Forty Seven was based on on a video game. Right. We're getting into that kind of a, a genre where they're repeating themselves a little bit. Right. This sounds a lot like Jason Bourne. It, it is pretty much as well, because here he is, like he said. That he's just this normal guy just thinking he's just floating along in life but he was trained by the CIA to be this super agent but they kind of you know hypnotized and put him under so he wouldn't remember anything until he was told this one special word well all of a sudden there's this guy at the agency viciously played by Topher Grace from that old TV show that 70s show who wants to come out and destroy him because he just wants to wipe it all away well the person who actually set up Jesse's character shows up whispers the word in his ear and next thing you know, oh, he, heck that's right, All like right. Agent 47, wow. he's ready to take, uh, take down everyone. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a nice quirky movie. Because okay. remember how like uh, with Fargo, how probably the first time you saw yeah, that, yeah, it was just this kind of like a little quirky, mm -hmm. but it, you know, appealed to you and you loved it. Same thing with this. It's kind of, you know, a little different, but it's a lot of fun to watch. With Tristan Stewart, just personally... Cool. She seems so yeah. cool. She's to always me. just kind of laid back. Both yeah, of them like, together, yeah. you know, in the room, you're just thinking, man, this is just going to be just kick back. Yeah, go, they do seem right. very. Well, they like... sounded very Valley Girl there for a while. <laughs> I got to say. Um, now you've also got a thriller uh, for those of us that want to get uh, scared this weekend. Right. Like I said, perfect date movie, Sinister Two, and it's all about this mother and her two children. They were both in the agency, and they're trying to. I'm kidding. Since everybody oh, else had okay. already been yeah. with the agency. Oh, I was like, wow, you got a lot of agency films. <laughs> but no, uh, mother and her two children they move into this 
quiet little town uh -huh. into this home where, you know, people had told her things had gone on before. Uh, well, right there, big mistake. Why did they move in? I don't know. This, oh. this is that perfect yell at the screen you movie. Can't handle that. Because that's they all do you want to do. <laughs> and it's something where they find this old movie projector, uh -oh. and when the kids start watching the movies, they're seeing this stuff, and then what they see in the movie winds up coming true as far as bad things. So, oh, I like it. Good see, I twist. Don't. No, I right? would need an Afghan to see that. Right. Because I watched through the holes of my Afghan. Well, well, I'm scared. Does that make that uh, Afghan? We'll it protect you. That's a It's a special <laughs> Afghan. What's like, I always say that's an Afghan movie. What's Hands like you and I have talked about before? Also, a perfect date movie. Right. All right. Because they're giving away some date movies uh, if we want to stay home. That's right. You couch. want to stay home? After seeing Sinister 2, you can also get Sinister 1 oh, by just cool. going to our Facebook page. Page, live in the D. So What's go the there. What's the one next to it? That the one, one like next to it. Up my alley. Disney fun short films. Oh, see, I like that. And it's all these nice little shorts that they will sometimes show before the movies, oh, which are all the great. Films. They're oh yeah, they are. And yeah, That's sometimes cool. they're better than the movie. I, I, I can honestly say that sometimes too. Did it just too. get released? Yes. The short film thing? Yes, it did. Actually, oh, it's. Where uh, do you get it? Well, well, I mean, I click on the trick. Yeah, I was going to say. But I can't take it. You can just, but you can find it. You're my friend. Oh, you maybe. know, we'll, we'll he'll, figure he'll something out. He got, gave yeah. me that Waldo I got the hookup, so, you know, we're all oh. good. Cashing in. All right. I love <laughs> it. <laughs>